Hey guys, welcome back to Kenna's World or KennaHardian.com. Uh, thank you for joining me for yet another book review. Um, I just want to say sorry. Evidently, my trying to do one book review a day is not working out. Uh, that said, however, I will try to post a review consistently. That said, today's review is for the two book series, The Candy Makers, both uh, written by Wendy Mass. The back of the first book says, At the Life is Sweet Candy Factory, Logan, Miles, Daisy, and Philip are about to compete in the national candy making competition of a lifetime. Who will make a candy more delicious than the oozing crunch aroma or the neon yellow lightning chip? And the contestants face off in a battle of wits and sugar, but soon they realize that things are not what they seem, and they find themselves in a candy-filled world full of surprises, suspense, and mouth-watering creations. I'm also going to read the second one because that was short. It says, Four friends, one road trip, and a whole lot of candy. It's... It has been a few months since the nationwide new candy contest, and Logan, Miles, Philip, and Daisy have returned to their regular lives. But when the winning candy bar comes down the conveyor belt at Life is Sweet Candy Factory, Logan realizes something is very wrong. In a race against time, the four friends set out on a trip of a lifetime to try and make things right. But they will have to trust one another and themselves in order to face what lies ahead. So, these books are both written in a unique style where you get to read the same uh, part of the story from each of the characters' perspectives, or each of the four kids' perspectives. Um, even though you're reading, like, the same main, like, plot going on four times, it's never boring because she introduces different side plots in each one. Um, it doesn't get confusing either. It's just really interesting, and it's fun. I actually like the way she wrote it. Um, it doesn't get boring, and it doesn't get confusing. It's really interesting. Uh, the biggest issue with these books is the amount of lying, stealing, and cheating the characters do. Um, and it is to complete the end goal of um, saving the factory or saving the candy bar, so and so. And um, it's just, they do a lot of lying. And, and it's kind of like, why are you doing this? And, and, and a lot of the time it's not... I mean, sometimes it is in a negative perspective that the fact that they're lying, but sometimes it's just like, oh, well, they had to do it to save the factory, so it was okay. So some of it's not even written in a negative perspective. One of the characters is a perpetual liar and is extremely rude. Um, his family cheats and thinks it's okay. His In the story, his older brother passed him a notebook filled with ways to lie and cheat and basically, like, just go through, deceive your way through every single contest. Um, what's in the book is not said in detail, however. Um, his fa father's job involves breaking other people's businesses apart. Uh, this character does start to change towards the end and realize that this is wrong. But lying is still an issue. Another one of the characters is obsessed with the afterlife because he thought he some saw someone drown. Um, his version of the afterlife is not biblical. And it's not taught or written in a serious way as if the author believes it. It's just one of the quirks of one of her characters. This same character is also slightly superstitious. There are a couple potty talk comments in the series and who likes who comments. None of them are really that bad though. All in all, the worst part of this book series is just the lying and the cheating and the stealing the characters do. It's not like on every page, but it is fairly rampant and um, the... Sometimes it's portrayed in an okay light. Other than that, though, these books are very clean um, and would make a great family discussion or and provide some very good family discussion options. I actually have a list of questions on my blog if you want to check them out and have a family discussion over dinner. I do enjoy reading this series because it's a pretty lighthearted read. Uh, the only uh, one extra warning I might give you is careful, it might make you want to eat candy. I mean, come on, it's in the candy factory. Thank you for watching my book review. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you have any book suggestions, let me know below. If you've read this series, tell me what you think of it. And if you have any series you want me to review, let me know as well. Thank you for watching and bye.